Hey guys, what is happening? This is Dan here once again to bring you another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm here to bring you everything to do with redstone, everything new, everything awesome. Alright, let's get to it. Um, first thing I want to show you is all the different types of buttons and triggers you can use to actually set off redstone. And the first one here we have is quite new, is the, uh, the tripwire. So made simply of string and uh, wood and stuff like that. Basically you step on it and triggers it. That gives a redstone current to the side of the tripwire uh, diamond block here. And that's that. We've also got the stone and the wooden pressure plates, which both give off similar note tones. Uh, this one here is actually set off by a redstone torch but it only sets it off once. It's not a recurring thing as a redstone torch would normally be. Um, one behind here is simply a stone button. And the one behind me here is also new, is in the new snapshot, is a wooden button. Uh, we got a lever. And we have the detector block of a minecart. Now the detector block of a minecart will normally only set it off once per redstone current, but it seems to be changing its tone at the moment, which is kind of strange, but anyway. Um, so there are all the different ways you can trigger redstone, or a redstone current, I should say. Um, next, I want to explain to you different logic gates. Now, the first one here is simply a lever connected to redstone, connected to an iron door. Now, this is a normal redstone circuit. It simply opens the door when it's on, and when it's off, it closes it. Now, all of these, except for the one in the corner, is switched to the off position. But um, I'll, I'll get to that one later. Um, in this one here, we simply have an inverted redstone knot circuit, uh, or an exclusive circuit, basically. Um, it's currently set to the off position. Uh, the redstone is negated through this gold block, which turns it on and it opens the, the circuit. But when you actually turn on the redstone, it closes it and negates it. So that is the not circuit, or a basic not circuit. Every, basically every circuit here has multiple ways of making it, but I went with the most simple one for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, over here, we have got an inclusive redstone or circuit, which means as long as any one of these three up to and including all three of them are turned on, uh, this door will open. So let's open the first one, if we open the second one, if we open the second, the third, and the first one, it'll all be open, and otherwise it'll just close. And that is done by um, switching off this redstone torch, which switches this off, switches this torch, which is connected to the, diamond, the gold block, back on, and activating the redstone circuit to the, the door. So, uh, the negation of this OR circuit is here in this um, redstone NOR circuit. Uh, basically, as long as one or the other is connected here, uh, the door won't open. So, all three of them must be off in order for this, get, this door to open. Uh, simply, yep, gold block, redstone torch, redstone, and door. Easy. Uh, I'll move back over to this side here. Now this is meant to be an inclusive AND circuit. So both of these must be switched on in order for this door to open. Don't know why that sign's not showing up, but that's not my problem. Um, so if it was to switch um, circuit A on, it switches off this redstone torch. Now if you see, um, because this redstone torch is on, this will always remain on. So when both of these have been activated, uh, this redstone wire will turn off, which will in turn turn on this redstone torch and activating that circuit. So by switching that on, simply opens the door. So that is one of the most simple AND gates you can make in Minecraft. And yeah, so now its negation is of course the negated AND or the NAND circuit. Um, the only difference is that is not a redstone torch here, it is actually just redstone wire. 
So as long as um, both of these are off, the door will remain open. But as soon as you open both doors, it closes out. So very basic NAND circuit. Over here, we have uh, slightly more elaborate is the exclusive OR or the XOR uh, redstone circuit. Um, it'll work when one or the other is open, but not both. Um, it's slightly different or very different to the OR gate. Um, basically how it works is if one of them's open, it will activate this redstone torch and from there, it'll turn off this one, turn on that one, and open the door. But the second you turn both of them off, it'll actually flick out this redstone, activate that, negate everything, and then close the door. So it is necessary to have these diamond blocks above the torch, or it will not work. So they're exclusive so that one or the other must be activated. But as soon as both or neither are activated, the door will close. So that's very basic. Um, this is one of the um, generator five clock systems in Minecraft. Um, you can use these to force um, basically a pulse when it comes to uh, triggering redstone. You could use it for multiple um, dispensers or anything. For this example, I'm just using the door. Basically, you just turn it on. Um, they'll keep negating and activating each other in just an endless circuit. Uh, the five clock is pretty stable. Anything less than that, a three clock, um, will basically just um, black out within seconds, I guess. So um, that goes... Uh, this is very, very basic. There are thousands of ways, probably, in setting up this um, circuit, but it goes... Um, I started by building the output, which has one block difference to a redstone torch, and if I walk through it, um, redstone on the ground, gold block with a torch on top, with redstone wire on top, and a torch connected to it, then redstone wire, gold block, which if you turn here, put a torch there. And then uh, because it wouldn't actually link straight up to here, I ended up putting a uh, redstone so, uh, wire track that goes around back up to the top to switch off this torch here because it will not negate, activate here, and then switch on a, on a diagonal, basically, on a corner. So um, that's the reason for that. And I just put a... Uh, switch, which could be um, any one of these systems I've shown you in here, um, just on the end of it, so I could actually stop the pulse, so it didn't have that really annoying banging noise of the door throughout the entire tutorial. But um, and then you can you put another piece of redstone on the ground, connect it to a uh, gold or any any form of block. This is just an example. Um, with redstone torch on it, more wire, connected back to another block with a torch on top. Um, another block with wire on top, connected to the torch, which connects the output again. So that's the basic five clock. Um, you can go higher, you can go lower, but I find this is stable and quite happy to use that one. Now, um, just out here, I've also set up all the different... I'll just follow that, I'll just... Uh, no, what do I want? Uh, time set zero. Cool. Um, these are all the different types of um, items you can use to um, trick a redstone with. We've got a redstone lamp, got yet another note block, um, a piston, which if you turn it off, it will not actually pull the block down with you. A uh, sticky piston, which actually does pull the block with it. Uh, we've got a dispenser which is not facing the right way uh, that appear to have a fire charge inside it. Um, wooden doors, iron doors. Uh, over here we have a trap door which in the new snapshot can actually be paced up the top. I'm actually using 12W36A at the moment but um, also use with uh, fence gates 
or over here you can connect it to a minecart or even uh, TNT. I'll just step back a bit. There we go. Uh, that was actually using a detector rail, but um, TNT can also be triggered by redstone. Uh, over here we have something relatively new. This is in one of the latest snapshots, uh, 36A, that's right. Um, this is the beacon block. Basically, you can just activate a piston to turn on the beacon, which will just light up. Now, this is actually just a emerald pyramid. If you have a look at my 36A snapshot video, you will see the beacon. Uh, I explain it through that. And also, up the top here, we have... This is a new block. You actually have to spawn it in manually is a command block, which I've connected just to a basic pressure plate. Um, this one's connected to the toggle, uh, toggle downfall command. Step on that, and it starts to instantly rain. It's pretty badass. But uh, this is coming out in one of the new, or this will come out in the new update. It's still only in its beta testing phase. Uh, that will turn off eventually. Um, only in its new phase in the, the updates, the weekly updates, so that's not quite out yet. But um, yeah, that is everything I wanted to show you this, this time on the Redstone tutorial. Uh, I may bring you more Redstone tutorials, I may bring you more random tutorials, um, but yeah, that's everything guys. Until next time, bye.